Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday, and I'm here. I hope you guys are here as well with me. I'm sure you'll show up at some point in time. It looks like that we're starting to um, gain a bit of an audience, so that's amazing. Just want to tell you that um, if you haven't checked out the website and our supplements, I think you should. I just finished um, taking uh, my supplements, which includes... Let me get it. It includes my Sanus Lean. This is how I've maintained while I was healing with my wrist because, oh my gosh, I had to lose muscle because I couldn't do a whole lot with that, but I'm so glad that I'm able to do so much more now. Um, but check out the ingredients with Sanus Lean because with all the natural ingredients, I've been able to keep up my energy. But let's move on to the workout segment of today's video. So yesterday I posted that if you had a broomstick, bring it along today with you, along with your water, of course, and towel and whatnot, and your smiling and winning attitudes, because that's what it takes. So that's what you're going to start with. But I'm going to go ahead and take off, uh, if I can. I'm gonna, maybe I can't. Maybe my wrist isn't all that strong. Maybe I'll just keep it on. That's like... That's what I think I'm going to do. We're going to start out with a little warm-up with this um, broomstick. And um, what, I, what I want to do is have you understand the, the importance of staying flexible and the importance of keeping your joints, like specifically your shoulder joints right here, to be really, really fluid with that, you know, that ball and socket. Because if you don't, then things will just start to stiffen up, especially as you go, you get older. You know the saying, if you don't use it, you lose it, just like a foreign language. It goes the same with your body. So if you want to continue to enjoy life <laughs> as we knew it before, after COVID, you got to keep things really fluid and moving. And that's another reason why I take all my supplements. So... Grab your broomstick nice and wide. I'm gonna show you my profile. And take it up and bring it back behind you as much as you can and then back over again. So we're gonna do a few of these. I don't know, maybe about 10 to 20. And gradually as I get warmed up with my joints, I'm gonna be able to take it all the way over without Bending my elbows. You know, I was kind of hoping that I was able to do that <laughs> and not just say that. But I'm just uh, waking up myself. So this is my warm-up also. So we're doing this for the shoulders. And then the next thing we're going to um, do to warm up is our hips. That's another ball and socket joint. And along with the warming up of the hips, we're going to warm up the knees and the ankles, too, because those joints are super important. I mean, if you're on your feet all day, your feet carry the body weight. And for me, that can be a big challenge, right? I, I do ask a lot of my feet, and I bet you do, too. So here's what we're doing with the broomstick and to warm up your, your hips, knees, and ankles. So take the broomstick twist, go in one direction, and you're going to lunge down, and you're going to drop that broomstick to the outside of that knee, back up and over. This is called your rainbow lunge, back up and over to the other side, okay? And we're going to do just a set of 10, and notice that I am pivoting on my toes and my heels up and over, lunge, rainbow lunges. Now, guess what? Here's a little sneak peek. This is part of your first circuit. So today, what we're gonna do is a three by three circuit. We got three circuits, three exercises per circuit. You know, that's been kind of my thing. And we're gonna do, instead of number of repetitions, because I want you all to go at your own pace, we're gonna do 30 seconds of each exercise and with a 10 second rest in between. So we're gonna go three sets, three exercises,
exercises each circuit. And I promise you, you're going to be done in 30 minutes. Some of you guys have got way too many distractions going on at your home right now because everyone's home, right? I'm sure of it. So if I can get you for 30 minutes, I think I'm winning. And you are too, honestly. And you know what? I think I've done enough. So <laughs> that is what I'm doing with the broomstick. Okay? So we're going to pick this up um, and continue to use the broomstick. However, as an alternative, I have also brought my four pound body bar. And it's super light and easy. So we'll be, I'll be using this from time to time. So if you have a body bar at home, you know, that's like four to eight pounds, grab it when you can do this workout at home. It's super fun. All right, guys. So I'm going to get my, um, well, I'm going to get my watch going because I'd like to know uh, how much, <laughs> how much activity I'm doing for the day, right? And sometimes my watch goes, talks to me and it says, hey, it looks like you're running. Do you want to, do you want to track this? And I said, of course, I want to track this. So uh, do I get that going? Yeah, it's going. All right, now I'm going to get my um, timer going. And um, what we're going to do, just before I get my timer going, I want to tell you, so the first circuit is rainbow lunges. Then we're going to do sit-ups with a spinal stack. And then we're going to do roll-ups with a twisted roll down. So let's go through. You, won't already, you already saw the rainbow lunges, right? I almost tripped over my words there. Okay, now the sit-ups with the spinal stack, it looks like this. You'll get your broomstick. I want you to keep your knees soft, right? And dig your heels into the floor. You'll roll it down. If you're going to just start from a sit-up position and arms here, you want to take it back because your arms it's going to, you're going to use it kind of as a little um, momentum. Yeah, that's the word. Roll it up and stack it all the way up here. Ideally, I really want your biceps to be aligned with your ears. And I want your ears to be aligned with your shoulders. Because that helps with your posture. And a good, healthy posture helps you look younger, truly, truly. I promise you, it's not these fine lines around your eyes, it's a good posture that helps you look younger. So that is your sit-ups with a stack, okay? And then the next thing, when we do the roll-ups, it's gonna be roll-ups, reach for your toes the best you can, and then you're gonna row it down one direction, right? Then it's a neutral roll up and you row it down the opposite direction. Okay, so we got all of that. Now the next time um, when we move on to the other circuits, what I'm going to do is stop and give you those exercises as well. Remember, just do the best you can. You only have 30 seconds. So if you get, you know, two or three reps out of the 30 seconds, you're winning. And that's great. All right, let's get to the start. Um, my timer, my timer, that's always good to have. Okay, there we go. All right, so the first one is rainbow lunges and I'm gonna grab, here we go, up and over, okay? And as I take my body bar, AKA my broomstick up and over, I want my arms to be over my head. I want my biceps to be aligned with my ears. Not only that, this is a really good stretch. Like up, it gets my ribs off my hips. Okay, now I'm gonna rest. So that's a 30 second rinse and we're moving on. Oh, now <laughs> we got sit-ups to a spine stack and I'm still gonna use my bar. Here we go, reach. Reach and breathe. All right, y'all, I'm going to give you a tip. When you're rolling it down, I want you to try to scoop out your belly. Okay. 
okay? Because you're trying to train your abdominal area to be pulled in. All right, that's a 10 second rest. So now let's lengthen those legs and get ready for the roll-ups. If you wanna use, I'm doing my body bar. Ready? Okay, I'm gonna roll it down in one direction to the side, kind of in a twisted position. Roll up neutrally and roll down the other way. So I sort of think of this as like, as I row in a canoe or a kayak. Reach. And reach. All right, good. Now I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> Every time I do roll-ups, the pants start to slide down. And if they do, that means you're doing it right. Rainbow lunges, okay. Up and over. See, I can already feel my hips feeling a lot warmed up and moving better. Up, 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 and over. And I feel like I'm stretching ribs off the hips, but I'm still keeping my core engaged. Okay, rest. And I love the rest time because that gives me just enough time to transition. Okay, the sit-ups, spinal stack. Dig your heels into the floor. Remember, you're trying to scoop your belly inwards. Pull your belly button to your spine. Okay, transition, roll ups. Now I'm gonna pull up my pants so I'm ready. <laughs> All right, ready? I'm gonna start out with reaching for my toes and I'm gonna row it down. And my neighbor dog is agitated at something. So pay, try to pay no attention to him. And reach, and row, and reach. And you're still scooping out the core, scooping out your abdominal area as you roll it down, right? Oh, good. All right, coming back up. Okay, last set, third set of the rainbow lunges. You guys ready? Here we go. Up and over. Oh, I almost lost my balance. Oh, nice. Feels so good. Ribs off the hips. Now, I'm sure that you all see and feel that this is also working your adductors, also known as your inner thighs. I'm gonna get one more in there. Yes, okay. So that was the last set for those rainbow lunges. Okay, now sit-ups, spinal stack, start here and go. Reach. Now, if you're a beginner, you can't use the broomstick, feel free to just use your hands and grab your thighs and stack it, okay? That works. And I'm gonna find, there we go. All right, last and final set of the roll-ups with a twisting roll down. Ready? And roll it down. Neutral roll up, reach, roll it down. The same goes for this. If you're a beginner and you can't use that broomstick to get yourself up, then just reach and roll, touch your toes, and then twist to one side. Same thing here. Reach and roll, twist, touch your toe, touch your toes, and roll it to the other side. All right. Oh my gosh. Guys, that went by like that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so get some water and let's go over the next circuit, okay? 
All right, next circuit. I've got drinking bird, two exercises. But the reason why is because the first exercise, the drinking bird, we're gonna use that <clears throat> unilaterally. So we're gonna do 30 seconds on one side and then flip over to 30 seconds on the other. So let me show you. Um, and if you have, let's say, if you have a special knee <laughs> or a special side, you wanna be super aware and do these exercises with great form, okay? So here, I'm gonna drop down, right? And then stand up. And you can touch the floor or just stand. I'm gonna drop down and come up here, okay? Now I'm gonna show you uh, several variations that we're gonna do throughout and you can choose what works for you. So that's what we're doing, right side, left side. Then the next exercise is the plank down dog toe tap. I like this one. Okay, so you're in a plank, right? Here you go. And as you lift up into a pike or down dog, reach back to the opposite foot and see if you can touch it with your hand. Come back to a plank and then pike it up and reach to the other side. Now, if you're a beginner, you do the best you can. Come down, start with your plank on your knees, then come up and maybe touch your knees, right? You could do that. And anytime you need to, get back to a child's pose for a rest. So, I'm gonna go back and forth between my body bar and my broom. I'm gonna do the broomstick for first um, set of the drinking bird, then, then I'll switch over to my body bar. You guys ready? Okay. <clears throat> and, all right, get ready. Get ready. Let me give you this angle. You guys ready? Okay. All right, for this first set, I'm starting with my special leg as my stabilizing one. Okay, so I'm going slow because I want to make sure that it's nicely warmed up. Oh boy. There you go. Okay, so now we're at rest. I'm going to turn to this angle. <clears throat> and I still want to go slow on this leg too, you know? All right. So you're hinging at the hips, and then you're gonna stand right. Now make no mistake, you still have to engage your core. So as I have said many times, pretend like you have a seatbelt on across your hips and just pull it tight, okay? You know, the funny thing is, is this, this leg feels like it's getting a really good warm up. Okay, so that's rest. All right, now we're going to the down dog toe touch. I really like this one. Okay, ready? Here we go. Back and plank. Down dog and plank. Still have to keep your seatbelt on. Woo! <clears throat> tell you the reason why I put this in the same circuit. Uh-oh. All right, so we transition. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to this um, four pound body bar. The reason why I put that uh, down dog in is because it stretches my hamstring. All right, here we go. Now I'm warmed up. As I stand, I'm gonna just bring my big toe down just to reset my posture. Whew, this is hard work. I know it looks easy, but it's hard work. It really is. Uh-oh, okay. Because I still feel kind of unstable with the special knee. All right, other side, you guys ready? <clears throat> Hinging at the hips, seat belt is on. 
There we go. And if you're shaking, that's good because your body is working. It's good feedback for your brain. There's a lot of stabilization happening here. This is good training. Oh, oh my gosh. All right. Down dog toe touch. Plank it. Here we go. And I'm going to pick up my pace a little bit. You guys do the best you can. You got 30 seconds. That's a good stretch for the hamstrings, low back, and glutes. Oh, yeah. All right. So now we've got one more set of the drinking burn. I want you to focus on really standing tall, okay? Okay. Here we go. Now stand really tall. Bring your ears above your shoulders. Oh, that's good. Okay, so this next one, what I'm going to do is try to lift my knee. Lots of balance. Okay, balance is a key component of fitness. You cannot just do cardio and strength and flexibility alone. You've got to incorporate balance. There you go. Standing nice and tall. Pull that knee up if it's possible. Give it a try. Nice and tall, ears above your shoulders. So good for the glutes. And that's it, okay. What do I have? Down dog toe touch, yes! I love that one, have I, have I said that yet? Okay. I want you to try to breathe consistently. <clears throat> Clear my throat. And that is it. All right. And now, if you've been used to doing Tabata 20 seconds and now you're transitioning, you know, to uh, 30 seconds. It does feel <laughs> like a little longer, right? Because it is, it's 10 seconds longer. Okay, guys, so now we're down to our very last circuit of today's workout, and then that's gonna be it for us. Um, we're gonna do a lot of upper body here. So grab your broomstick. This first one is a V-sit chest press. So I'm gonna tell you this. this this has a lot to do with your core, your back and your front. But if you keep your seatbelt tight, you're going to be okay. If you ever need to rest, then you come back up to a sitting nice and tall spinal stack, okay? But a V-sit is here. So notice that I'm not hunched down. Let's pretend like my, my boobs or my headlights. I want you to keep your headlights on high beams. So you're really sitting on your sit bones, okay? Not on the fatty part of your tush, although that's more comfortable. So we're in a V-sit, and you're just gonna do chest presses for 30 seconds. So that's the other reason why I brought my four pound body bar. So that's a V-sit chest press. And then we're gonna do wide um, push-ups side to side. Now, I'll tell you guys, that I just figured out that I could do this last week and I was so impressed with myself because of my wrist. So the side to side is here. You're gonna do a push up and then walk to the other side. Push up. I, I, I'm telling you, I was like, 
on cloud nine when I was able to do that. So that's the push up. And then the next thing we're going to do is the plank rows. Now, if you've got dumbbells, you want to use them. If you don't have dumbbells, that's okay. But you're going to be in a plank, whether it's on your knees or your toes. You're going to row up and alternate to the other side. Okay, I'm going to use my dumbbells because I can. Um, let's go back to the push-ups real quick. If you guys have been following my journey of recovering with my wrist, three months to a full push-up, that's pretty dang good. But I want to say that if I can do that with a broken wrist, you guys should be able to do it as well, even if it's still on your knees. That's a huge accomplishment. All right, are we ready to start that timer? Okay. Remember the first exercise is the V-sit chest press. All right? All right, let's get ready. Okay, grab your broomstick or your body bar, get in position. Here we go, press it out. Keep your headlights on high beams. If you feel like your headlights are dropping down to your low beams, you're in the wrong position. I will admit this body bar is not long enough. 30 seconds, <laughs> that's a long time. Oh, there we go. Oh yes, all right, put that down. Okay, we got side to side wide push-ups. You ready for that? Here I go. Walk it over. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> the instructor's not supposed to be complaining. <sighs> but I'm going to allow myself to this time. Okay. We got plank rows. Uh oh. Here we go. Row it. Even closer. Now, notice that I am rocking my body side to side, twisting it. So that's really engaging my obliques. And breathe. Oh goodness gracious. All right. Let's go back to the bees. The V sit chest press. That timer makes you move quickly. Okay. Headlights on high beams. Now, if you really want more of a balance challenge, bring your knees together, bring your thighs together. Remember, if your back gets to be strained, sit up nice and tall, just for a little rest. Okay. Uh, Push-ups. <laughs> this, is, this is my challenge. Are you guys grunting with me? Oh, thank goodness that timer went off. Okay. Plank rows. <laughs> you guys ready? All right, twist it. Keep your hips low as much as you can, even if you're on your knees. I'm starting to sweat. 
I know you guys were thinking, this is not gonna be one of those sweaty workouts today. But guess what, people? It sneaks up on you. Okay, we're moving on to our last set. V sit, chest press. Here we go. Do you have your headlights on, Bright? Try to use your breath. Be rhythmic about it. Breathe out every time you press out. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Thank goodness. We're on our last set of the white push ups. Thank goodness. better be up now. Oh, thank goodness. Woo. Okay, last exercise, last set. Plank rows. Because we were moving so quickly in between different the different exercises with quick transitions there was there was a cardio factor to that too however if you can do you know another 20 30 minutes of cardio go for a nice walk or run or whatever you have time for that would be ideal and then after your workout <clears throat> I would suggest taking your pure immunity and here's the reason why Th this product with all the natural ingredients they naturally fight inflammatory and when you're working out you're creating a lot of inflammation in your body uh, uh, believe it or not I mean we're breaking things down when you're working out and you got to build them back up you got to heal you got to recover so that's a really good product to do that with. I mean, it's excellent. So even though we're all home and we're trying to boost our immune system, we're also trying to stay sane, at least I am, it's important for you guys to also do your research and um, keep showing up here every week. Keep coming to these uh, workout classes with me. And send me questions. Let me know what I can do to help you on your journey. I, I, I know there's a lot of information out there, and you guys can um, um, do all of your research on your own. But I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. Yes, we finished at under 30 minutes. How cool is that? You can do it too. All right, I will see you next week. i got lots of plans. And uh, have a great week, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye for now. Let's go ahead and end this. And where's my...